So I'm making this video about um, taking this apart. I bought this at a estate sale recently and uh, it is not turned on so I wanted to figure out the reason for that. Um, so for me I know the issue is going to be in this part of it because I mean the battery goes here and all of the um, motherboard stuff like that and whatever it's called is in here um, and then all the mechanical stuff it's obviously down here this is where you would go to get the belt um, so I'll show how to get into that as well but for my issue um, it ended up being corrosion and my problem was up here so we'll start with the top first I've already taken the two black screws out they come out from here and here so I'm just gonna use a little flathead to pry these out from here easier if we start with these ones just be kind of gentle with them the first time that I did this I actually got it out from the top side but I don't really recommend that because I think there is more of a chance that you will snap these off because I kind of already um, made that part weak so anyways you just snap these out oops hard before so anyways take that out like that pull it out from the top and this is what I'm working with I had some corrosion damage I'll put uh, what it started with um, in some pictures I'll put my process of it But unfortunately, the corrosion is pretty bad, and I was not able to get all this. This kind of, it's just ate through it. This part, these cleared out, but yeah, still does not work. So anyways, this is how you would get that. You can take out this screw if you need to. Um, there's a screw right here. Just unscrew that, and this just pops out really lightly um, if you need to access the front of it. Um, that's also where the screen is located, so I mean I can just quickly do that. It's really, really easy. So I'll do that. I'll put that screw right here. Actually, in my little container. Even though I'm about to put it right back in, um, and then so there's the screen just sits on some little pins and stuff here so just line it right back up in between that press it down and then put that screw back in uh, so anyways I'll put this top part back together and then um, I'll show you how to get into the back just to show you how easy the top is to put in. You just pop it back in those holes and just snap them under the clips. And that's back in. And then screw the screws back in and you're good. Okay, so to get into this back part here, if you happen to have the little handle on it, you just unscrew this. I've already mostly unscrewed it. Um, let's just unscrew that quickly, pull that out, and then pop it out the back. Super simple. So there are three big silver screws here um, that are used one, two, three. This is where you just unscrewed that from. So once you get those unscrewed, the inside is actually completely loose. Um, you do have to take these off in order to be able to really pop the whole unit out. Um, so I guess since I am going to be taking it out, all you do is 
carefully, gently take these screws out. Um, they are different lengths, so you can kind of tell which screw goes where if you do happen to put them together, but just try to keep track. Um, so it just unhinges. Make sure when you're putting it back together that you don't get it stuck over in this side, because I did, and it was kind of a pain in the ass to get it out. Okay, so both screws are out. Whoa, don't want to lose that in there. So now the entire unit is actually free. Um, so when you start to pull on it, you'll see that it does come out. Now you're going to think that there's some screws or something stuck up here, and that is not the case. It's just the buttons. Um, the buttons all come out with the unit, however this plastic part does not. Um, and it is kind of a hassle to get those things in. I actually took off this plastic thing when I started because I could not find any videos on how to take this out. And I thought that there were more screws in there just because of how much it was not coming out. Um, but I find that if you move this lever this way and if you push in the stop button, it actually makes it come out a whole lot easier. Um, so you just kind of pull it up and back. You can kind of pull on this a little bit if you're careful, but plastic's usually better. So up and out. You can kind of push on the buttons if you want. Just be careful with it, you know? Slow and steady wins the race. Oh, damn, I'm taking the seal out. Hold on. Okay, so I kind of got it out here, um, at least a little bit. So you see that whole thing comes out. It is officially loose. Okay, so you pull it, pull it out. Here's your case. It's stuck to the thing there, so be careful when you're pulling on the ribbons there. You don't want to um, pull it out too hard. So. There's that, you can clean the battery if you need to. Um, there's all the buttons, there's those on the back. Like I said, so the, um, the belt is actually right here. That's where the belt goes. How do you remove it? Um, well, it looks like that you would just take the motherboard off here, if I'm not mistaken. It looks like there are clips here. So, you possibly just pop that down. But don't quote me on that. Anyways, so, let me get this kind of put back together a little bit, and then I'll show you the tricks I used with the buttons. So I've got it mostly back in here. It is kind of a tight squeeze. Like I said, remember not to get these arms stuck in here. You see they're both out ready to go. Some They can flip back and get stuck in there, so be careful. Um, I have my buttons kind of lined up here. Like I said, I took this off, so unfortunately it makes it really difficult to put these back on because I kind of broke the seal for that. Um, 
So avoid that if you can. And also it does kind of pinch when you're putting it back in right here where the battery is. So if you just kind of push that in a little bit, it helps it um, go in. Like right now, it's kind of stuck on that. So just kind of gently push it back in. Make sure that the buttons are all out, which they are. Um, this is why I didn't want to take it out, but I guess I'll just show you how to do this as well. Uh, my whole thing's just sliding, huh? Okay, so now that we've got this in, again, make sure that it's all settled. You can kind of check to see if it's at baseline to see if these ports line up which is does not, see now you can see it starting to line up more. Gently push it in. Again, check to see that the port's lined up. Gently snap it in. Okay. So now everything is doing its last little clicks. So this is all back in place. Um, you can now screw these back on and then I'll get these started. So make sure these are facing the right way. You can kind of tell because um, the pin will sit into it correctly. Oops. And um, these are actually doing what they're supposed to. Okay, so I've got it all put back together, all the screws are back in, um, see I've got my screw there, put them in underneath, put this back on. So now all that's left is just to put this on. Hopefully since I'm doing this, nobody will have to take this off, but, you know. So pick a side to start with, I find it's easier to kind of start with this little joystick over here, so you do have to fit that into the hole here. That's why it's kind of easier to start here because you gotta get that on. Push this into the little hole, and then this is the fun part. So you just kind of put it over it, but it's not going to sit on it. just kind of line them up. I don't know why this one's getting any extra trouble. So line them up. If you can kind of see there's a lot of like the buttons here and this is here. So a lot of playroom. So we're going to start from the side that's already pretty secure and we are going to line up our button and take my um, thing here and we're just going to push it down inside. Gently though, because you don't want to stab through the, the plastic part, you know, or the little rubber part. Um, so you see that one's down, slide it over. All I'm doing is pushing down on this a little bit and then using the screwdriver to help it settle over the button. So there's that one, and that one's actually already in. So. There it is, like new, nothing sticking up, bubbling, pops, all that. So, there's that. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, that helps somebody um, save some mistakes that I made. Like, don't take this off, and um, yeah, bye.